Welcome everyone to round number three, the finals. We are on the play with an iffy one. This one's so iffy. The th so the thing is that we have two draw steps to hit a land. We have 17 lands in our deck, so we have 15 things. So we're about 50% twice, so we're about 75%. Uh, but even then, we don't always win. I'm going to keep, though. I have the faith, I think. And I think we can come back sometimes. Like, our late game with Aether Tide Whale is powerful enough to come back. Unfortunately, we don't have a two drop in our hand. But there are two drops we can draw draw two. Like, if we draw Servant of the Conduit, that's almost like a land. If we draw Nature's Way, that's just not at all like a land. Come on. That was one draw step. That was 50% draw land. We had 33 cards in our deck, and we have 16 lands. Because Servant of the Conduit counts. This is going to help. I would love to scry. Bottom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, that's not perfect, obviously, because it didn't pick up us pick us up another land. Uh, that's that's the only thing that would have made it sweeter. All right, playing against the red, blue, the blue, red artifact deck, I should say. Uh, probably not trading here, just because we have so many other things to, like, stop a 2-2. There's no need to trade there. Um, that might get the appetite treatment. Um, so, hmm. There are a few options, like, if he crews and attacks, I could block with P-Foul and Refiner, and then he gets to kill one, unless he has, like, Build the Smash, and then he just blows me out. Um, or I could just attack, I think I'm just going to play P-Foul, and I don't know what to do here. This is iffy. I don't th think I want, I think I'm just willing to take four once. I think that's it. I think I'm willing to take four. All right. Let's go. What'd you got? Hinterland Drake. Interesting. So I imagine the Hinterland Drake is... Oh, it's crew. Yeah. I imagine the Hinterland Drake's going to crew here. That's fine. I mean, um, in an ideal world, I draw a land here, and I'm able to play... Ooh, Imperial Voyager's okay. Uh, what I was going to say is, in an ideal world, I draw a land, and I'm able to play um, Nature's Way and Appetite for the Natural, or something like that, but it's not that big of a deal. Alright, I th think I still want an Appetite. Just because, like, I really don't want to let him get extra cards... And I have a lot of power in my hand, and I have a lot of ways to deal with that power. Like, you know, I, I mean, I have Nature's Way to kill most things. Um, I can get through the 4-4 Hexproofer. I can get through the 4-4 Giant, um, a lot of stuff like that. So we're going to see what happens here. Um, if he charges up and attacks, I'm just double blocking, obviously. Um, if he attacks with Hinterland Drake, I'm probably not doing anything. I just don't want to die to... Build a smash. What is this? I would like another eager construct. That'd be good. All right. Uh, killed an artifact. That's nothing I can do anything about. Ether chaser. Crewing up the daredevil. I'd imagine. And getting in with everything. Jeez. All right. Well, that's gonna get owned, and then um, I think we're just gonna keep it. All right. Land. No land. Okay. Um, so we can play an Imperial Voyager or a Leopard here. I think I'm gonna go with Voyager, but that might eat just as much as just as much removal theoretically. I'd really like a land. I really just want to go land land so I can slam Hermit Whale and then win from there. Pia. Foil Pia is like really good. Um, 
Sacrifice something? No, okay. That's interesting. Land. Tune with ether. Question is, what do I do here? Because they can make she can make the Thopter huge. She can also like sacrifice artifacts. I mean, she does a lot. Um, the question is, so she could theoretically sacrifice this artifact and make this not block. Sacrifice this artifact and make the Longfin Skywell not block. Like there are a lot of options for Pia here. I think I'm just gonna play the Skywell though. Like I think being able to block Hinterland Drake's pretty good, right? Because if she wants to sacrifice the two artifacts to make sure these things not block and attack with everything. Or an attack would just just for four, like that's fine. If she attacks, I'm just gonna block her with the rogue refiner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think I've pretty much stalled out the board. If she attacks with the Thopter, I'm I mean I'm just gonna block with something, I guess. Yeah. So the problem here is actually Aether Theorist just being able to fix every single draw. So I'm gonna have to try to find a way to kill them before that happens. But luckily they didn't get any value there. They just saw what was on top. What I mean. Embril Gear Smasher, all right. Land. Um, how close am I to dead if I attack with Longfin Skywell? I just feel like I have to start attacking, but I don't actually know how close I am to dead. Make this not block, make this not block. Attack with everything. I eat the two, three, I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I deal one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Yeah, okay, so I can attack here pretty safely. I mean Obviously, I'm not super safe, um, but it looks like I would go to two if they did everything and they used all their mana to kill me, and then I would kill them on the back swing, I believe. Or anyways, that, that's what it looks like. Actually, I'll go to one, maybe? Whatever. Something like that. Let's see what this card is. I believe they topped here. Oh, they haven't done anything yet. Oh, they... No, they didn't do it. Okay. Wonder why they didn't theorist this turn. It's interesting. I mean, maybe they want to have, like, an exact amount of Aether Chaser mana, but that doesn't really make sense. Aether Tide's Will is going to make infinite energy. The problem is, can I figure out something to do with that energy? Nice little Maverick Thopterist. I mean, that's a broken card. Emerald Gear Smasher is going to get me in six turns. That is for sure. Question is, how gross, how aggro are they going to be with Emerald Gear Smasher here? They can make, like, some pretty good attacks, right? If they make... Ooh, okay, I mean, I don't think they're going to do it, because or else they would have already done it, but, yeah. Okay. So what do I need to do? Need to Nature's Way... Ether Tide Whale and Pia. That's like the big thing. Gotta kill that Pia. That's like such a big deal. Gonna give one of the Thopters plus one plus one, I'd imagine. So the question is, do I attack with Aether Tide Whale? I don't think I do. I think I attack with Longfin Sky Whale. And if he wants to block with two Thopters, he blocks with two Thopters. Uh, that's probably not it. Do I just attack with this? And if he wants to trade... No, that's not good either. Alright. All of those ideas are terrible. Alright. Yeah. 
Gonna start getting me here. I have no idea if I can outrace here. I mean, uh, Ridge Scale Tusker might help me. Prey Upon would certainly be good. The thing is, is that I could have killed the Emberall Gear Smasher, but I think the Pia is more important now. The Gear Smasher is more important to kill than the Aether Theorist, so that's definitely like the, you know, next on, next on the list, so to speak, but first thing is way more important. Right. Again, not Aether Theoristing. Prey Upon, very, very good. Um, the question is, do I go high or low? Like, if I Prey Upon, Hermit, and Hinterland Drake, then I can just get in with all my flyers pretty easily. Yeah, he's just gonna sacrifice this, right? Yeah. This is an unbelievably tight race. So, he has one more flying blocker. God, this is so much math to do. Look, if I draw a remorse spell, I win. Should I have just killed the Gear Smasher there? No, because then I attack with a whale. Mm, maybe. Huh, I wonder how the game's different if I just kill Gear Smasher there. So he can do three a turn, basically, right? So what happens if he attacks with everything this turn except for the Gear Smasher? Um... I block, I basically just block all the twos, I take one, two, three, four, five, but then a bunch of his stuff dies. Yeah, I mean, um, actually that's kind of important, I'm going to block with this, yeah, I could have blocked with both, I don't know. Definitely not taking any damage here. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead next turn. Gotta draw a removal spell. Damn it. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna give it a shot here. Yeah, if he just does everything correctly, I'm going to lose. Eh. So if I kill the Gear Smasher, the game's pretty different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, no, I'm just dead. You got me. Damn, it's so close. So close! Let's go get him again. I don't think there's anything we can really do differently. I do like Negate. I do like Shielded Aether Thief in this matchup. Um, our top end's good enough, right? Our top end's, like, definitely powerful enough. Uh, I mean, Untethered Express is definitely good enough to get the job done, etc., etc. Um, the issue was, I don't think I valued uh, Emerald Gear Smasher high enough on the scale, and I think I just got owned by that, basically. Basically, I think that's what happened. I would love to play first. I would like to keep. This is an aggro hand. That is for sure. I think we go... Hmm. So, here we get an island, obviously. 
let's see what happens next. Our opponent goes island, and then we're going to go island servant, right? That sounds right. And then either stream leopard attack. Eh, if he plays a first striker, it's bad. No first striker. If you're, ugh. All right, I mean, now we don't get to have all the fun. We just get to have some of the fun here. Yeah, maybe we should have played Scrounging Bandar, but I think Scrounging Bandar is a little more valuable in this kind of a game where we're trying to, like, trample over and stuff. Ooh, yes. Um, he, I mean, I guess he can block, but it doesn't. he's not going to block, so it doesn't really matter. All right. Here we go. All right, I mean, that's good for us, right? He doesn't have a way to kill the Untethered Express. Uh, would really like scrying the gate to the top here. That's going to go to the bottom because it's not in the gate. <laughs> can you have for one red? You can have shock. Jesus, do I play around shock? No, that doesn't play around shock very effectively. That does play around shock. Eh, that was dumb, right? Because, ugh, can't block artifacts anyways. I should just attack. There's no reason to use that prey pawn. That was me getting overzealous. Because I can't block the dumb thing anyways. Alright. Yeah, alright. Uh, I'm just going to draw land here. Ooh, p -fell. Obviously getting that block in. Uh, gonna put the ether thief or the ether theorist first. We might have got this one, even though we blew a prey pawn. All right, gotta win game three to win the finals here. This is a tough finals. It's who, whoever's gonna do it faster. We're gonna see. I have consulate turret implement of examination. Don't need any of those. What does the turret do? Not a ton of this matchup just makes me energy and kills people. If it killed things, it would be fantastic. Uh, Sage should leave, like if it was a um, Dynavolt Tower, except for three, it would be great. Um, leaving the dust not fantastic. Yeah, I mean, look, I think we're ready to go. I think we just need to smash them. We definitely had an opportunity to win game one if I played tight. I don't know if I if it's if I played tighter, just like if I valued the card correctly. Um, in my what, however many drafts, forty drafts, thirty drafts, I don't think I've played against a deck quite like this that won that way game one. Like I've never just been Embril geared, smashed out. Um, that's never been something that's happened to me, so um, I probably just didn't value the things correctly. Now, this hand is an issue, right, because everything that was good about the last hand is not good about this hand. This hand is not aggro. That being said, our opponent did mulligan to six on the play, and we do have removal spell. Uh, like, we do have two creatures, a removal spell, and one creature is just fantastic in a ton of ways, right? Rogue Refiner just literally does everything our deck wants to do, and we drew the two drops, so... We are okay here. We don't, we're, I mean, we need to draw one more land to make the deck really hum, because we do have two six drops, but we should be okay even without them. Hopefully this is something I can get through. All right, that was, that was a very, very good draw. Obviously we're not going to stop it the first time, right? We're, the first time we're just going to play Rogue Refiner to kind of get ahead on board. And then um, the second time when he cruised it, then we're going to Appetite it, and we're also going to have Prey Upon up next turn if we need to. I would also just like to draw a 4-drop, right? I mean, sometimes you just draw a 4-drop and get in there. I imagine he's just crewing and attacking? Yeah. Another Prey Upon, jeez. I mean, hand's kind of stacked, but very worried about not having something to do next turn. So 
So the good news for him is that there's nothing like he can't have like a prey upon and just blow us out, you know. So the question is, is what he what is he going to do here? Um, he can have negate. Negate. All right, you did it. Ooh, metallic rebuke. That is crazy, but okay. Got to put another velocity counter. Yep, you got to do your thing. Um, I right, we need to draw action. That's action. Uh, the reason I don't mind using a malfunction here is just because we have pr like we have prowler prey upons in our hand, and we are cr we we're, we're winning this race. Um, assuming you know he doesn't start Emerald Gear smashing us. So this way, even through like a Thopterist or something, like a Maverick Thopterist, we're still fairly far ahead. Right, if that happens and we attack next turn, he's gonna trade uh, his Watchful Automaton for the Hidden Herbalist and the Maverick Thopterist body for um, the Rogue Refiner or something like that. You know, n n nothing crazy. Um, something similar is going to happen this turn, I have a feeling. I hope he doesn't have Metallic Rebuke Part 2. That'd be how we lose here. I hope he just scries. Because it didn't seem like he had a lot of... I mean, it's pretty hard for Blue-Red to have a lot of removal for a 6-6, six, six, you know? So, his only way is to, like, overwhelm me with, like, Maverick Thopterists or something. Like, overwhelm me with tokens. Aether Chaser. Alright, I mean... Look, I mean, I hate to tell you that's not going to work. Let's go. Champion. Champion. Champion? Ooh, almost champion. All right. It's pretty sick, too. Bottom. Bottom, 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 bottom. Bottom. All right, all right. Should have done that before combat, probably. Just like there's a chance I drew a nature's way, you know. No, that's that's cool. That's cool. Champion. 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 I'm, I'm putting it up. Putting it. Champion. We did it. All hail a Johnny. All right, you gotta pray to the shrine of a Johnny sometimes. We. Did it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow with another awesome video. Seems good. Magic Crew is great. Much love. Uh, tell them how much you like me and like having me here. Uh, I like feeling the love. I know I know that like they like knowing how much you like the people that are making videos. So I really appreciate it. I try to respond to each and every comment. Um, so please drop one of those as well. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow.